Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 17 Manchester City career mode. This is Season 1, Episode 2. In today's episode, we have two matches against two London sides. We're facing Chelsea at home first, and then we have a match against Arsenal later on. So, I've got a couple of things I want to do, actually. I want to go through the squad report, and I'm actually going to I'm going to bring back Joe Hart from his loan, and also Wilfred Bonny. And I also want to show you the amount of defenders that Chelsea signed. It's just absolutely ridiculous. So, at the moment, we're currently first in the Premier League, followed by Everton, Watford, West Brom, Middlesbrough, and Crystal Palace. Everton a second, followed by Watford, which is insane. Now, looking at the squad report, Bravo has actually gone down a minus one, which is unfortunate. He, he is 33 years of age. I might even move him along in January. We are going to be going for the treble this season, and there are a couple of players on my short list that I still want to try and get, so maybe a goalkeeper can be one of them. He's gone down a minus four kicking, yeah, and he's also not even six foot five, uh, which is what Joe Hart is, so... What we'll do now, we'll bring back Joe Hart from his loan. It's going to cost us just under £900,000. Six foot five, he's 29 years of age. He's still a, an overall higher, and we're going to be playing Joe Hart. I know how he, I understand in real life how he fits to the Pep Guardiola tiki taka football system, playing out from the back. But from my system, it doesn't really matter. I want a big, strong goalkeeper. And he's going down in stats. I'm also going to bring back Wilfred Bonny because I would prefer to have a target man on the bench. I did have Iron Nacho, but I don't actually play very well with Iron Nacho from experience in the Real Madrid career mode. And I thought Nolito, Sterling, and Sane would be enough for the bench, but I'm going to bring back Bonny. He's going to be really good for us. He scored six goals so far in the Premier League for Stoke, I do believe it was. Yeah, he scored six and one assist, but played ten. Now, before we get into the match against Chelsea, I want to show you, I don't know why the AI did this. It's absolutely ridiculous. I don't know if they're going to be playing a 5 at the back. In real life, they're playing a 3-4-3, three, three, aren't they? So, this, <laughs> this is nuts. So, they've already got Aspilicueta, Cahill. They've signed Bonucci this season for £45 million. They've also got David Luiz for £25 million. Ivanovic, they've got Javier Martinez for 31. Laporte for 36, Socrates for 26, and last but not least, they've got Varane, along with John Terry and Zuma. I don't know why they have so many centre-backs. Conte went nuts. So guys, if you're still are enjoying this Man City career mode and would like to see more, the best thing you guys can do is leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new around here. Let me know in the comments what you'd like me to replace this series with. So let's make some substitutions now. Let's bring on Wilfred Bonny. Uh, who are we going to take off? Probably Fernando, I think, and we'll sort of switch it up like hearsay a bit. There's still a fair few players I want to move out. So let's move Joe Hart to the starting 11, and we'll drop Bravo. Joe Hart is back into the squad. We've recalled him from his loan from Torino, along with Wilfred Bonny. He should do all right as well. I'll quickly show you my shortlist at the moment for players I'd like to sign in January. I would like to get a new right back, Hector Bellerin or Calava Hull. Jordi Alba, Jordi Alba, Aspel Equator. I would like to get Ozil because he was inclined to leave Arsenal at the start of the season. So, yeah, we'll see if we get him. These are just my suggestions. Let me know in the comments who you think I should sign in January. But without further ado, let's get stuck into the home match at the Etihad against Chelsea. We'll let we'll play in our blue kit. What's going to clash? Okay, they're going to play in their away kit. So, it is on Legendary at the Etihad. Anthony Taylor is the manager. There are showers, which is unfortunate. I think it's probably going to favour Chelsea more, the showers. We play a lot more sort of attacking and passing, and uh, they can be a little bit more bullish in their approach, approach being a bully, especially with Diego Costa. But uh, regardless, guys, let's get stuck into Conte's Chelsea here today. Okay, guys, welcome to the Etihad. It is a night match. Diego Costa here. He's going to be leading the line for Chelsea. It is going to be interesting to see who they play up front. Sergio Aguero is starting for us. I brought back Wilfred Bonny, of course. He's going to be my target man. We probably could put him on late in the second half. He can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Diego Costa. I used to love Dzeko, who played for Man City. He was such a great tactical option. So they are playing a five at the back, which is nuts. Okay, so we've got Diego Costa leading the line. They have Eden Hazard on the left, Willian on the right, Matic 
and Javier Martinez, a centre-back in my opinion in the midfield. Aspilicueta is left-back, Ivanovic is right-back, Socrates, Bonucci, David Luiz. Courtois in goal. That is such a defensive side. That is going to be so hard to break down. We're just going to have to dominate in the midfield and maybe go for a lucky long shot. But it's going to be tough to break down Conte's Chelsea. In the last episode, we did beat United and Tottenham. Hopefully, we can continue our winning ways. Messi on the ball with the cutback. He's going to bomb it into the box. Alexis Sanchez gets to the header, but he puts it over the bar. He obviously signed for us at the start of the first episode. That's a bad header in the end. And we also signed the one and only Lionel Messi. So we get the first, well, it's not really shot, but first header. Oh, my God. How has Aguero gotten to this? Whipping and weaving. De Bruyne. Sanchez back to Kevin De Bruyne. David Silva gets slipped in here. They're sitting right back. And the Spaniard, the half-Japanese, David Silva makes it one. I absolutely love David Silva in FIFA. He's got such a cracking left hook. But, um, yeah, it's unfortunate he's getting a little bit older. Some nice passing here. One-two passing. Look at Chelsea just sitting back here. Bonucci trying to get to the ball here. Cool, calm, and collected. David Silva with the curve. They were just sort of letting me sit back. Aguero and David... Uh, it was Kevin De Bruyne. That's who it was. Getting some nice tiki-taka football on. But we are 1-0 up against Chelsea at the Etihad. Messi. Silva. De Bruyne. Aguero back to De Bruyne. Got some nice... Is that John Stones again? What the fuck is John Stones doing? He scored the opening goal for the Manchester City career mode campaign. And now he's got a nice finesse off against Courtois. I don't know why he's pushing so far up the pitch. It's just nuts. Okay, David Silva's going to whip this one in at the back post to Sanchez. He centers it, but it only goes far, far as Martinez. And Messi gets a tackle on Bonucci. I think it's going to be a free. Oh, and it's not. It's going to be a throw in for Man City. Silva. De Bruyne, ah, uh, Gundogan's going to get shut down here, unless Sand, oh, with the scoop turn, Alexis Sanchez hits the bar, Kevin De Bruyne pricks, picks up the crumbs, we are so fortunate there to be 2-0 up against Chelsea, dominating them in the midfield with Tiki Taka football, that was a sloppy goal, a great scoop turn, hits the post, and Kevin De Bruyne picks up the crumbs, absolutely smashes it through his laces. And we're 2-0 up against Chelsea. Uh, I'm absolutely ecstatic from that. Awesome, awesome stuff. Okay, guys, it's just before the 68th minute. We need to do some substitutions. Aguero is knackered, so I'm going to bring on Bonnie. Uh, we've got Sane Nolito. Hmm, I'm just sort of arming and arming. Should I just change my front three, or what should I do? I'm going to bring on Sane for Messi. And then I've got Yaya Toure. Um... I'm going to keep Sanchez on, but I'm going to mix things up a bit here. What I'll do, yeah. I want to keep De Bru Actually, I'll put De Bruyne behind Sanchez because he's got a little bit more uh, stamina. So, Bonnie's going to be leading the line. Wilfred Bonny, Wilfred Boney. Uh, Yaya Torre at the cam and Leroy Sane. The two Ivorians up front. It should be good. Hopefully, we can pick up another goal or two. Yaya. Look how many players are just sitting back here. Yaya. Boney. Wilfred Bonny. He's broken away from David Luiz here. That's a great shot on target at Courtois, but it's going to be no more than a corner kick. How has he broken away from David Luiz here? That's a great shot by Wilfred there. From the corner kick, De Bruyne finds Alexis Sanchez. Put it at the back post if you can. Oh, yeah, yeah. How has company got on the end of that? From the throw-in, see if we can push one final attack. Sanchez. Okay. Tries to beat Ivanovic, but Kalishi gets on the end of it. De Bruyne. Sanchez. There we go. Is this going to be John? No, this is Leroy Sane territory. Oh, he's just put it over the bar. I thought uh, John Stones was actually going to go for it there. Unfortunately, Sane couldn't get to it. Pedro. He's got Diego Costa in the box. John Stones with a comfortable header, and he's just saved. The uh, clean sheet for Joe Hart there, if I do say so myself. So we've claimed a 2-0 victory over Chelsea. We started off the scoring with a great David Silva finesse. And then it was a crummy goal from 
Kevin De Bruyne. I think he's picked up a goal and an assist in this match. Absolutely dominated Chelsea. Sitting back with five players is not the best thing to do, obviously. So De Bruyne picks up the goal along with David Silva. De Bruyne picks up the assist and... Oh, so does David Silva. Huh. 9.6, 9.4. Okay, guys, let's get stuck into the second match of today's episode against the Gunners. Let's face Arsenal. Okay, guys, welcome to the second match of today's episode against Arsenal at the Etihad. We're currently first in the Premier League, nine points clear of Arsenal in second, Man United third, Everton fourth, West Brom fifth, and Tottenham Hotspur sixth. We're still going to be playing the 4-3-2-1 narrow, the 4-3-3 narrow, whichever you want, whichever you want me to... Say or prefer, it's exactly the same. So Sergio Aguero is going to be leading the line. Sanchez on the left facing his former side. Messi on the right. Kevin De Bruyne at the camp. Oh, yeah, I guess he faced his former side in the last episode, didn't he? Gundogan, David Silva, John Stones at right back. Otamendi, company. Clichy facing his former side. Joe Hart in goal. We've got Bonnie, Nolito, Sterling, Sane, Bravo, Kolarov, Yaya. A couple of others on the bench. I'm still trying to offload Fernando, Navas, Sanya, Kolarov, Yaya, uh, maybe Nolito because he's 30 years of age. I don't really need him. I completely understand why Pep Guardiola brought him in, but obviously this is career mode, not real life. Um, so he's going down in stats. We probably wouldn't need to sell him on if we're going to make a profit. So, um, right, okay, I'm quite happy for them to play in their red home kit. So we're playing at the Etihad on Legendary. Kevin Friend is the referee. It's over overcast, so at least it's not raining. Let's get stuck into Arsene Wenger's side. Let's see who's going to be fielding for them. Okay, guys, welcome to match day. Welcome to the Etihad. We're going to be facing the Gunners here today. Okay, let's see who Arsene Wenger has chosen. Sanchez facing his former side. Controversial. So they're playing a 4-2-3-1. Danny Warbeck leading the line. Urza at the camp creating the plays. Oxlan Walcott. Okay, Coquelin Elneny. So no Xhaka. Ramsey I'd probably prefer. Well, Ramsey, Coquelin or Elneny. You definitely want Xhaka in there though. They've got Serge Aurier as their right back. The Ivorian from PSG. Um, not playing Hector Bellerin. Left back, they're playing Monreal. Koscielny, Mustafi, Peter Cech in goal. Pretty solid side. Let's get stuck into Arsenal. Kickoff is underway. Ozil starts it off. Messi on the ball finds Aguero, who feeds it wide to Sanchez. Are we going to have the first highlight here with Sanchez? Sergio Aurier absolutely smashes him. The two former gunners link up. Sanchez and Kalishi. Sanchez pops it at the back post. But it goes straight to the hands of Peter Cech. What? How is that a penalty? I didn't even see what happened. Oh, I wasn't even controlling. What the fuck, man? I wasn't even controlling Otamendi. That is a bullshit penalty. I wasn't even controlling him and he just somehow gets a tackle on... Mohamed El Nenny. That's ridiculous. Walcott steps up to make it 1 0 for Arsenal. Joe Hart in goal. I'm going to go right. He goes left. And we pick the wrong way. Oh, that is just ridiculous. He didn't even have the ball. Just pushed him and sho shoved him out of the way. And we're 1 0 down from the AI's negligence. It wasn't even my fault that. We don't deserve to be 1 0 down. Theo Walcott scores his first goal of the Premier League as well. For fuck's sake. Hasn't even scored an outfield goal. It took him to a penalty. We're 1-0 down against the Gunners. We don't deserve to be. Sanchez beats his man. He's at the edge of the area. Oh, come on. Okay, just go to De Bruyne then. Just push something. He got closed down way too quickly, Sanchez. I'm actually just going to whip this one into the box. We've got tall centre-backs, unlike my other careers. Okay, come on, Sanchez. Nice. Come on, Sanchez. Keep going. Oh, Serge Aurier, man. Getting it clear. I'd rather play um, Hector Bellerin if I was them over him. Sanchez. Oh, my God. What a foul. But De Bruyne is through. Oh, how has he not converted that? Peter Cech with a top-notch save. Sanchez gets absolutely shrugged out of the way. Uh, Arsene Wenger and the, <laughs> the boys probably... Uh, Deliberately targeting there. That's a bad tackle as well. Absolutely does Mustafi. Just dives in. Unfortunately, Kevin De Bruyne couldn't convert the uh, advantage. Okay, yeah, go to go to Sanchez now. 
He's at the edge of the area. Come on, Sanchez. He's run straight into El Nenny. Aguero. Sanchez at the edge of the area here. He can have a ping at Peter. Check! I thought that went in. It rattled like the back of the net from the outside. Alexis Sanchez determined to prove a point. And it just skips wide. Oh, so unlucky. We shouldn't be losing this match. We've had the fair ch share of chances. It's just they got a lucky penalty and converted and haven't done anything since. All right, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. This is a good counter-attack by Man City. Sanchez just needs to beat Mustafi. He does. And, oh, how has that gone wide? What are you doing, Sanchez? Breaking away. Gets a nice cut back. Oh, I grabbed his shirt a little bit there. Oh, here we go. Here's his chance. Oh, <laughs> Peter Cech has saved Arsenal the three points here. De Bruyne puts it on a plate to Sanchez. And how has he just saved that? From the corner kick, Messi finds David Silva, who pops it into Otamendi. Man. Okay. We'll do one more. I think we'd probably need to do some substitutions, actually. Let's bring on Bonnie for Aguero. It's a little bit early. Let's bring on Sane for Messi. Sanchez has been so good in this match. I'm going to bring on Yaya for Gundogan, actually. Nolito and Sterling can stay off. So we'll do one more corner kick here. Um, I might just actually whip it in with De Bruyne. Try and find Otamendi. That's a great header. Peter Cech. How, if, he doesn't, if he gets the man of the match, I'm going to be so furious. Because he's just absolutely on fire. How has that gone in? I genuinely don't believe that. Right, we have been dominating Arsenal in this match. I brought back Joe Hart. He's been absolutely awesome since he's returned from his loan, but he lets in like a goal like that. The first goal was a penalty, but I didn't do it because I wasn't fucking controlling Otamendi. And I don't know how Danny Welbeck's just got to that. Walcott, what a... What is that? How is that header so on target from outside the box? No one was expecting it. That was actually a really good goal from Welbeck. But what the fuck? The scoreline doesn't represent this match at all. If you saw like a 2-0 victory over Man City, you're thinking, oh yeah, they got fucking smashed. No, it's not the case whatsoever. Wow, I don't believe it. Our biggest defeat of the season thus far. And it's kind of ironic because we've stolen Sanchez and uh, Clichy earlier. That is just mind-blowing. We had eight shots, five on target. They had four to four. They managed to beat us 2-0. How many saves did Peter Cech have? Six! Oh my god, you've got to be joking me. And Joe Hart only had two. Like, that that first penalty, which was bullshit, set the tone of the match. And then that last minute Danny Welbeck goal really sealed the deal. Oh, well, you win some, you lose some. And in this case, we, uh, we lost against Arsenal, which is disappointing. But hey, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. If you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. You can even pick up Xbox and PSN codes if you don't want, like, PC games or stuff. But yeah, let me know in the comments, players you would like me to sign in January. Uh, hopefully we can offload some of the dead wood at the club. So yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. My name has been Simpsy. Take care. Goodbye. Mares whips it into the box. Royce! <laughs> that is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce. Holy shit.